Hey guys, Alan Corey here, and I'm gonna teach you why Dave Ramsey is wrong about mortgages and real estate investing. Dave Ramsey, if you don't know, loves all cash, no debt, all debt's terrible, and that's honestly terrible advice for a real estate investor. It's actually less risky and way more profitable if you get a mortgage on real estate investing. And I know you probably have someone in your inner circle, a friend, a coworker, a family member who keeps telling you real estate investing is too risky. You only do it in all cash. Wait, save, save, save until you have enough cash and then buy a house. And you're going to send this video to them when we're done to show them why they're wrong. And I please want you to come back and comment that you've converted them after this video. So why is Dave Ramsey wrong? And why are a lot of people wrong about real estate investing and that you should get a mortgage? Well, I'm gonna walk you down an example here. So let's say that you have $100,000 that you wanna invest in, in real estate. Um, so you come to me and you say, let's go buy a house. And you find a house uh, that's got a tenant in it that pays $1,000 a month. Okay, great, so we buy a $100,000 home and we're earning $1,000 a month in rent. And in my little example here, I will show it to you. There's our beautiful little home we bought and it spits out $1,000 a month in rent. And that's pretty good, right? You know, you're a successful landlord. You've taken off a lot of risk. Um, you know, you still have uh, repairs to pay for and things like that. Um, you know, a vacancy is gonna be a little painful. Um, you know, you're just not making any money. You're not gonna be losing too much money. Um, but it's a very safe investment. So your friends and coworkers and spouse, that little birdie that uh, tries to tell you cash only, they're right so far. It's very safe. And um, you, can, you can do okay with that strategy. But let's look at a different scenario. If you came to me and said, Alan, what's the best use of my money? I have $100,000, what's the best use of my money to invest in real estate with that? And my answer would be, let's go buy four homes. Let's chop up that $100,000, $25,000 down payment on a $100,000 house, and we do that again and again and again across four homes. 25,000, 25,000, 25,000, 25. Like this, we're comparing these. You've got four homes now, each with $1,000 in rental income. You're paying $750 um, in mortgage and interest, and you're making $250 at, on each house. And 250 across all four is $1,000. So you're still making $1,000 a month, but you have four houses. And why is that better? Right, where, 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 where am I going with this? Right, great, yeah, I, I know you can get more homes with a mortgage, but you shouldn't do it. Well, it's when you hold them, <laughs> if this gets better. So typically, um, the stock market goes up over 30, or over a 30 year span, about 7%, 7.5% on average. But we all know it goes up and it goes down, it goes up and it goes down. So on average, homes go up in value about three and a half, four and a half percent each year. Now it's the same sort of thing. It goes up and it goes down, but the longer you hold it, it'll typically go up uh, three and a half, four percent appreciation. So your hundred thousand dollar house, uh, maybe in three years, um, it's now worth a hundred and ten thousand dollars. That's that's pretty good. You made ten thousand dollars by just holding on to a house for three years and keeping a tenant in it, and you got some cash flow as well. But let's go back to the example. If this house is now worth $110,000, you made $10,000. But if this house is worth $110,000, and this one, and this one, and this one, you just made $40,000. You quadrupled your money because you got a mortgage. That, that, that's amazing. Like, why would you not want to quadruple your money? All you had to do is hold it and, and keep it uh, rented. You know, you're still getting the same $1,000 a month, but now you made $40,000 instead of $10,000. So now we're going to fast forward 30 years and assume that in 30 years we had 3.4% home appreciation. What happens now? Well, if you just bought one house for $100,000 in 30 years in the future, it'll probably be about $275,000. Pretty good investing. Way to go. But if you had four homes and we fast forward 30 years in the future, it's now worth one point 
one million dollars in the future because you got a mortgage. And the house would now be getting one house, $2,000 of rental income. Or if you got a mortgage, you'd have $8,000 in rental income. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so glad you didn't real estate invest with just cash. Now, no, you're gonna say, well, you got four houses and now you've got four roofs to worry about and four lawn control or pest control bills and lawn uh, services and you know all your expenses are quadrupled. Now, I kind of put that in the $750 amount, but even if it's not, and, and, and you know, it's, it's true, you do have four extra expenses. So how do we solve that problem? Well, we could condense it all into one building that's a quadruplex and accomplish the same thing. Here, you have a $400,000 um, quadruplex. And then each unit in the building makes $1,000 a month as well. It's the exact same numbers here. You bought four properties for a total of $400,000. Here you bought one property for $400,000 using that exact same $100,000 as a down payment. And here you only have one driveway, one roof, one long you know, guy that's gotta come, or you could do it yourself. And you've condensed all the handyman repairs and condensed your um, driving around town. It, it just even makes more sense if you take that $100,000 and buy a multifamily. Also, the last point I want to make on why Dave Ramsey and your coworkers and your friends are wrong about buying it all cash is the vacancy that I mentioned earlier. If this is vacant, you don't make any money. Now, that's, that's it. You're, you're either making money or you're not, depending if a tenant's in there. Here, if you got, the chances are that all four homes are vacant, are very, very rare. And let's just, I don't even say it's probably rare that even one home is vacant at all times but let's just assume you always have one vacant um, house. Well, three of them are making you 250, 250, 250, and that's gonna be $750 that's paying this $750 mortgage. So even if one's vacant, your mortgage is covered. Here, you don't have a mortgage, but if it's vacant, you're not making any money. So you're not making money either way, but you have a built-in safety net because the three other houses or tenants are gonna cover a vacancy or a down unit on the other one. So it's actually less riskier to get a mortgage because of this. And if you just take this example and blow it up into 10 properties, 20 properties, 100 properties, then it just gets better and better and better. And that's why you should always get a mortgage to buy the biggest property you can when real estate investing. And I don't just mean by square footage, I mean the number of units uh, is the best advice. But you should also buy multiple homes instead of just one. All right, if you like this video and you want more, please subscribe, hit the link below, tell me what you think, and I hope I've convinced that person in your ear that tells you only buy real estate in cash.